What's the word? Man, chilling. How you feeling? Good. So what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Taji, the host of Foot of Record. You know, we right here in Soundgarden, right in Baltimore. Yeah. I'm here with the one and only Anaya Russell. Yeah. We just want to get to know a little bit. You know, know all about her culture, what movies she was watching, what music she was listening to, what influenced the things like that, all right? So let's get right to it, man. What, what area are you from? West Baltimore. West Baltimore? Yeah, born and raised. Okay, and what, what was it like for you growing up? Man, it was cool, you know? I live with my, I grew up with my father, you know, I'm the only child on my father's side, but I got nine siblings. Like, it's nine of us all together, so. Uh -huh. Growing up with my father and being the only one in the house for real. My cousins used to come over all the time, but I really couldn't go off the block for real, like, till I got like, 10 or 11. What? Uh, after that, that's when, by that age, I started getting serious with basketball. Yeah. Me, so. Once I moved with my father, he was on my ass about basketball. So. Before you even like got serious, like what drew you into hooping for real? Ah, it's crazy. I started out at Bentlow. I was playing with against boys like mm -hmm. all every day. Feel me? I used to go Curry and Cumberland and just shoot. I suck though. <laughs> but like when I was started at Bentlow, I noticed I started getting nice. They gave me a nickname, like they called me Nana. Ever mm -hmm. since then, I started getting like a little popularity. But it wasn't nothing really crazy. But I noticed that I was getting better for real. Yeah. And uh. My father put me in AAU, mm -hmm. and it was one game I, I had went off for real. I think I had like 17, 16 points. I was in like sixth grade, but I didn't know this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't know like that was good. I was, mm -hmm. just, I was just out there playing fun because I, before I played basketball, I was really a swimmer. Like, I like to swim. Word. Yeah. So, uh, AAU coach found me, and he moved me up. I was in sixth grade. I was playing with the 17U team. So, I, I scored 17 points. That was my career high. Oh, so after that, I'm like, I, I'm nice for real. So, you know, AAU, that's where you get all the offers and college offers and stuff. So mm -hmm. I stuck with AAU and stuck with that same AAU coach that, like, that reached out to me for real. His name Coach Raw, okay. Power Move, Baltimore Stars. That's what's up. And uh, I started getting offers. So I'm like, I right, stick to basketball. Feel me? I ended, before I committed to South Carolina, I finished with 30, 31 D1 offers at school. And I ended up picking South Carolina out of my top five. and. Uh, yeah, I just stuck with it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, you mentioned you hooped at Bentlow. I want to like ask, you know, the importance of Bentlow. That's the state one Baltimore for yeah. hooping, man. Yeah. Coach Herman. Yeah. Yeah. Only Coach Herman. He was, uh, he used to be always mean to me, but once I grew up, like, what he was saying made a lot of sense. But Coach Herman, Coach Kev, mm -hmm. Coach Ross, all of them down there, I used to always go to their camps in the summer. Yeah. And, uh, like I said, it was probably about three girls, like Jasmine Dickinson. Yeah. She, uh, I don't know if y'all know, but she went to WNBA, I think last year. She playing overseas right now, but she was playing. But she wasn't that good either, but we mm. all, it was like three three girls in there. And we used to always just play against the boys for real. And that's just how we got better down Bitlow. But I, I love Bitlow, and like, that's where I got nice at. And you know, you mentioned your offer from USC. What made you choose to go there? Uh, I just, I just had a good bond with the assistant coach, Coach Fred. Uh -huh. And then, like, you know you go on official visits before you commit to a school, and the official visit was good. Mm -hmm. I liked everything I seen, you know? So I just went out where I was. Okay, and then, you know, what was it like hooping under Don Stanley? It, it, it was good, it was tough. You know, she's from Philly, yeah. I'm from Baltimore, so yeah. we be clashing a lot. Like, uh -huh. she, she won't agree with something, I won't agree with something. But like, it, it was kind of hard, because you know, I was, I'm coming out of high school, I was always the one, you know what I'm saying? So I was playing the Leah Boston, Zai Cook, Tori Saxon, Leticia, me here, Bria Bill, they all in the league now, you right. know what I'm saying? So like, it was hard, cause like, it was hard, it was a hard adjustment, you know what I'm saying? Being mm -hmm. the one now, the whole team full of ones. Right. So you gotta sit back and wait to turn. So it was a hard adjustment for me. That was probably the hardest part in the conditioning part. Cause you know, in high school, they just teach you how to get stronger. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They teach you like skills, like shooting. They don't never teach you the conditioning part. The stamina. Yeah, the conditioning part is the, the worst transition. Like that's the part, that's the part like, I wish I knew, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So it was cool. Cause I learned a lot. I took a lot from us all. I took it to Kentucky, and it's paying off now. So yeah. it definitely was a good experience for real. I don't regret nothing. That's what's up. So look, we kind of got to know you, got to know your background. Now let's kind of get to know some of your interests. We're going to walk around the store. We're going to check out, see if there's any music you like, any movies you've seen. You cool with that? Yeah. Come on. So look, we checked out these albums, some of these movies, you know. But before we even get into any of this, 
I want to ask you, what's like your typical game day like? Is it like any rituals you doing? What music you listening to? Anything like that? Uh, uh my top three, probably Baby Money, Revis, Skiller Baby, and I throw Young Boy in there. Okay. And then like, you know, you got any rituals before for a game? I usually keep my chain on. Uh, when I get on the bench, I pray before uh, I check in and then I hand it to somebody. But that's really it for real. Okay. Yeah. Cool, cool. And then something else is really cool is, you know, your brother. Yeah. He played a pivotal point in Money Jake the Red. Yeah. You know, uh, what was it like seeing Jake early on? When I used to live, when we all used to live with my mother, he he wasn't really rapping. He, he was like a singer. <laughs> you know, I sing for real. Yeah. But like, as we got older, as I got older, he started rapping. But like, I wasn't really paying no mind because I didn't really listen to really rap music like that when I was that young. But, um, you know, as I got older, I started doing stuff on my own. I started really listening to like school and all them, why did you say and all them tech. I started listening to him too. And uh, it was, it was solid. Like, cause I, you feel me? Like he used to sing. I didn't really think he was going to take it serious. When he took it serious, I told him it was good. Like, you feel me? But it's like being in college and you feel me and him being the one, two in our family. So it's like us two for real, that's the ones. Yeah. And we we be talking a lot when I'm in school, but like we don't see each other often. So, mm. but we always had a tight bond, like me and all my siblings. So that was always a good thing about us. So. That's cool. Yeah, he he doing good right now. That's what's up. That's what's up. And you know, you mentioned Tay, you mentioned Tech. Yeah. You know, what other artists you put in? What other Baltimore artists you playing? You putting on your playlist? I got. I got in there's in, like Nas, G Chaz, and that. Yeah. This Nas, G Chaz, right? That's how y'all said it. This Nas, G Chaz. <laughs> I got OT in there. Uh -huh. Um, that's really it. Scooter. Okay, of course. That's really it. I don't, I don't really listen to everybody. I feel like yeah. you got selective listening. I respect yeah. that when it comes to music, at least. Yeah. But you know, another state in Baltimore. You said you're a fan of the Snowman. Yeah, he. He be talking. Yeah. Yeah, he be talking. I like the way he be talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Jeezy, uh, you know, fun fact, during my like middle school, elementary school days, you know, they was banning people from wearing his shirts. For real? Yeah. Why? Like, snowman drugs. Oh, you know okay. I mean? like, yeah. But you know, it was a lot of people who was really who was really tapping into Jeezy from this area. Mm -hmm. So, you know, even though you're a little younger, but hearing that you're saying you're a fan of Jeezy, that's is real cool in my opinion. Yeah. And then, you know, I wanted to talk about this legendary artist. You future. Know? Yeah. Yeah. You said, and I quote, you know, you don't really got a favorite future album because he got so many like songs that are your favorite, mm -hmm. right? What, what's your number one you'll probably say? Or two. Give me two of them. <laughs> uh Worst Day, that's what it's called. Yeah, the Valentine's Day, Day yep. joint. Probably relationships. With Thug, that's a that's one of those ones. Yeah. I like I like 56 Nights too though. Yeah, this whole tape. I mean this one had March Madness on it. Yeah. You know what I mean? This is a classic. The classic. This is when he was on that peak run, so I definitely commend you for choosing this. And then we're gonna get to some of these these movies. I know you said you're a big fan of Halloween movies, whether it's or oh, scary movies, yeah, whether yeah, yeah. it's Halloween, you know, scary. Child's Play. Uh -huh. What about horror movies? You know, really draw you in? I don't know. When I was younger, I used to always watch scary movies. Like I'd be up by myself watching. Mm -hmm. And ever since then, I just grew up just loving scary movies. I like scary movies and uh. Christmas movie. They're the only two genres I really like. And, and I know you mentioned, you know, your birthday around Christmas, right? That's why you... Yeah, the 27th. Okay, that's why you love Christmas movies so yeah. much? Yeah. And then a uh, classic you mentioned, which is, a, it's funny, you you younger, but you said Home Alone, your favorite movie. Yeah. That's, that's, that's cool to hear, because it's like, you know, you're doing your history on movies. Yeah, Home Alone, my favorite movie. And you know, you, you love horror movies, you love, you know, Christmas movies, but you also got this, this phenomenal film, in my opinion, John Wick. It's not really an either genre, but mm -hmm. it kind of fit the horror aspect. Yeah. Why you like John Wick so much? I don't know. He just tech like. <laughs> uh, I really don't. I'm really not a fan of action movies, but John Wick. I, mm -hmm. I watch John Wick. You like the whole series? Yeah. Okay. What's your favorite one out of all of them? That one. The first one. The first one. You can't beat the first one. It's a yeah. Classic. The first one. Cool. First one, the hardest one. All right. Well, you know, we kind of got to know your interests. Let's kind of get to know what you what you've been doing in, in your hoops career. All right. All right, come on. Yeah, it's not
time for that film fortune. Look, Anaya coming here to sound good with twenty dollars in her pocket, and she got choose from a list of movies. Let's see what she decided to take home. So I only got twenty dollars to spend. We're gonna pick which movies I'm gonna spend it on. We're gonna do Get Out for well, hold up. These are the dollars right here. Okay, we're gonna do Get Out for a dollar. I'm at nineteen. We're gonna do Friday for ten dollars. Mm. I'm at 11. We're gonna do fresh for five. All right, I'm at 16 hours. Drumline, 17 hours. Coming to America, 18. And house party in the woods, it's 20 hours. I did. Yeah, that's good. I like that selection. So, you know, we, we already mentioned you playing under Don Stallion and whatnot, but um, I think, you know, you transferring, it's kind of, that, that had to be a hard choice, right? You won a championship, then you went to Kentucky. Mm -hmm. What was your thought process in going through that? Well, yeah, I was saying, like, Don was a, a fantastic coach, probably one of the best coaches I've ever been coached by, but I don't know, I just I didn't feel like I fit the system. Like, mm -hmm. me, I don't really like to call plays, like, I'm more like a, Get the ball cleared out. <laughs> I, I like to go ISO. ISO bucket. Yeah, get to the basket. And at Kentucky, I just, I just, I don't know. I just clicked with the. She was in Kentucky. Was in my top five before mm -hmm. I went to South Carolina. Mm -hmm. And I already had a bond with the coach. And then when I, when I went on a visit in 2020 before I committed to South Carolina, I liked their official visit too. Mm -hmm. But South Carolina just beat them. Mm -hmm. But I already had a bond with them. I like the coaching staff, the team, and I like their style of play. So right. that's why I just went over there. And you know, you Kentucky is a very prestigious school for hoops. Yeah. You know, a lot of legends came from that school. Mm -hmm. Is there like any pressure on your end? Do you feel like pressure with trying to live up to something? No, nah, not no more. I feel like I'm a senior now, so yeah. like I'm used to everything. I got a, since I went to college 2020, I got an extra year, COVID year. Right. So I'm gonna take that and take my extra year. So I'm gonna mm -hmm. do a fifth year. Okay. But I ain't gonna tell y'all if I'm staying at Kentucky or not. I don't know if I might. I okay. don't know yet. <laughs> okay, you got choices. Yeah. All right. Well, you mentioned you said not anymore, but when you first transferred there, what was like? How was you feeling? I was feeling regular. It was just uh, when I went into college, like going to South Carolina, mm -hmm. I felt like a lot of pressure. You know, feel me? Because I was playing on the people that's in the league right now, like right. great players. So I felt all the pressure my freshman year because mm -hmm. you just coming out of college, because you're coming out of high school, you're going to the number one team in the country. So right. definitely felt it. And then right now, what's going on with the NIL deal? You know, you... It's great. I got I got a couple of big ones yeah. I've been doing. Uh, they on my Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Sure enough. Do you have any other ones that you want to pursue, baby? Right now, I'm doing a shoe deal. Uh, and then I'm looking, I'm trying, I'm trying to get into like some fast food spots. Cause in Kentucky, like Raising Cane's real big in Kentucky. Hmm. I know we just got one here, but... Oh, yeah. yeah, but Raising Cane's real big. I'm trying to do one with them. And there's a lot of call, there's a lot of call NIL deals going on, so I'ma try to get something. Mm. So that's really it. Okay. And then yeah. WNBA aspirations, you got any? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Well, do you have a dream team you would want to go to if possible? Nah, it's just whoever pick me, I'm gonna go. I like that. There's the money on. And then <laughs> and then the evolution of women's basketball. I think it's so cool just to see how like far it's it's come. Mm -hmm. And you know, way more people talking about it. We got yeah. more men standing up for it. You mm -hmm. know, how did that make you feel? I feel good. Like my brothers and them, like they don't, they ain't used to know nothing about basketball. Like I grew up around a lot of older guys. Cause I used to always hang with my older brothers, yeah. and they ain't never knew nothing about basketball. But what, I used to hang around there where they be hanging at. Like they come to my games and stuff like that in high school. But then when I went to college, like they really start watching it for like they start watching with basketball because I wasn't home. Mm -hmm. Feel me? You know they feel me? Like, they don't be having time to watch it. But it's like now. It's like the game is definitely is more men watching it. Like mm -hmm. when uh, LSU versus uh, yeah. who was in the championship last year? Was it LSU? I forgot who won. <laughs> but I know LSU won. Yeah. But it was like a lot of guys watching. Everybody was hitting me. I was surprised. Like, oh, you watch the game? Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool. Like how the men's watching it now. That's that's tough. Okay. And a lot of men's betting on women's basketball now too. So it's me. Be, I'm I, a lot <laughs> of men. <laughs> yeah, that's hard though. I, I appreciate that. That's fire yeah. if you ask me. So sure. yeah, it definitely changed a lot. Okay, and then you know the number four. Mm -hmm. Is that is that a reason you got it? Well, I was number two at South Carolina, uh -huh. and I only like even numbers. 
So I was like, I'm gonna double it and make it full. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. The season, you know, let's talk about the season. How, how you yeah. feeling about it? The season I just passed? Yeah. I feel good. I think I had a, uh, I think that was my breakout season. I'll call it my breakout season. Mm. I feel like the season coming up gonna be like the one though. Mm. I've definitely had a, it started off, it started off good, then the middle got a little rocky, cause you know, body was getting worn out, practice right. every day. But I started picking up SG tournament. I always go crazy at SG yeah. tournament, so. I think you had like 24 in the first round. I had, right? I had 19, seven and four. Okay. Yeah, so then we got kicked out. We got kicked out by Tennessee the next game. Yeah. So, yeah, but I feel like I had a good season this season compared to the season I've been having. So that was my breakout season this and year. Next year, you know, what's what's the goal? What's the aspiration? The league overseas. Mm. I'm going to still be hooping mm -hmm. right away, but the league is my number one. So cool. that's, that's why I'm, when I go back to school, whatever school I go to, that's when I'm, when I go to sleep, whatever I eat, when I wake up, when I'm in the gym practicing, that's what I'm going to think about. Like I'm trying to go to the league. So everything, every decision I make, I'm going to be thinking like, that's where I want to go, you feel me? So. Well, we, you know, we talked about your, your hooping career. Let's have some fun. We All got right. a couple games for you to play. You ready? Games? Yeah, games. All right, come on. Come on. <laughs> what kind of games, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so for this quick five segment, you know, Naya got to come through and answer a couple of questions real quick. We're going to treat like she got a 24 second shot clock. Got to me? All right. Favorite hoop shoes, Kobe's. Most points you dropped in the game, uh, 24. And I think it was, I think it was Florida. Favorite Baltimore artist, probably a little scooter. Least favorite workout, running. Goat basketball player. LeBron James, favorite clothing brand. I don't really have one. If you could listen to an album again for the first time, what would it be? Shit. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I'm gonna come back. Uh, one talent or passion you have outside of hooping, people may not know. Uh, I can swim. I used to be a swimmer. Uh, goat sports movie. Like Mike. Who is one NBA WM play you can beat? LeBron. If you could listen to an album again for the first time, what would it be? Probably. Damn. NBA Young Boy. Uh, 38 Baby. If that's what the album called. I don't know. How I do? I did good. It's for the record. Nice. We appreciate you. you appreciate y'all. Absolutely. You know, we you one of our favorite hoopers here, man. Appreciate we, that. Thank you, y'all first hooper coming through. Yeah. Yeah. So bring thank some you. more. Absolutely. <laughs> and then you know, real quick, what what other one more hoopers you want to see on this show? Yeah, Asia Petty. She from Baltimore. Uh, Nasira Pryor. She played for Western. Mm. She from Baltimore. She uh, she played uh. She's that defensive player of the year in her league. Yeah. Uh, she had bring Angel too. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Why right. not? Well, let the people know where they can follow you on everything. Uh, I'm on Instagram. I mean, I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram at Nixel, N I X X E L dot underscore. And Twitter, I'm Anaya R1 on Twitter. Cool. Well, look, that's number four, and this is for the record.